Now, going into a little more detail on that fragmentation format, that ID is just a unique identifier for each datagram. And that is copied into each fragment so that it identifies that it's part of a larger packet. Now, that first flag, like we said, that was on for more fragments or off for final fragments. Two slides back, we called that the bit number two in the flag. Flag two is the don't fragment instruction, so we're working in the opposite direction here. And so if that is toggled for whatever reason, if it's on, then IP simply discards the datagram because it can't fragment it. So now, assuming that's the case, here's where a nice little recon attack can take place. I can send packets through the network and I can say, don't fragment these packets, and I can send a very large packet. And if it hits a layer three device in the path and the DF bit is on, it'll send an ICMP message back to the sender and say, hi, this is router Y, and I'm not allowed to fragment, so I discarded your datagram. So if that's the case, now this attacker can say, okay, well, there's a layer three hop and write it down, and then he can change the size of the packet, make it a little smaller, and put the DF bit on. He is able to get an ICMP message from devices in the network that would normally be stealth. And so that can be used as an attack vector. Now going into more detail on that offset, I mentioned that that offset was eight byte multiples. And those are multiples from the beginning of the original frame. So if you have a chance to take a look at a fragmented session in Wireshark, what you're gonna see is that the numbers in the fragment offset are always gonna be eight byte multiples. And the length, the length is the length of this fragment. So we didn't touch on that a couple slides back when we were looking at the header, but that's what the length is, the length of this fragment. The question that comes up is, why are we so concerned about it? And the answer is our network devices, and not just our network devices, but firewalls often allow fragments to pass. And if that's the case, then we're susceptible to evasion.